Ever heard of the Cane Corso? It's an Italian Mastiff-type dog breed that is known for being powerful, athletic, and an excellent guardian. Like all working dogs, Cane Corso thrives in a home where he's given a job to do. May it be protecting your home from potential attackers, hunting big games, or rounding up pigs and cattle, this dog is surely able to get the job done. Despite their intimidating physical appearance, the Cane Corso actually possesses a personality that may surprise you, and that's what we're going to focus on today. For today's video, we'll discuss 10 things that only Cane Corso dog owners understand. If you're all set, then let's start. 1. Cane Corso are for experienced owners. Perhaps there are some novice owners who owned Cane Corso without knowing much about them. Don't be like them. Cane Corsos are not for first-time owners. They need someone who is experienced, firm, and knows how to handle their serious personality. Their bossy nature combined with their intelligence is a great recipe for dominance. So it is important that their owner sets boundaries and shows leadership. Because he can't stand not doing anything all day, owners of this breed need to engage them in activities. May it be working around the house or training for agility and obedience competitions. That said, Cane Corsos are also not for owners who can't spend time with them. If not given enough time, Cane Corsos will develop undesirable behaviors. Just keep in mind to always use positive reinforcement techniques during training. They are sensitive to your tone of your voice and will know when you're irritated. Aside from training, Cane Corsos should also be socialized early. Expose them to different environments, sights, people, and noises. This way, it won't be hard for them to adjust to the new environment. 2. Behind a tough-looking dog is a warm-hearted canine companion. As their family is involved, Cane Corsos will enjoy affection, and that includes your children. However, in order for them to be a well-rounded dog, Cane Corsos should be properly trained and socialized at an early age, just like what I mentioned earlier. However, keep in mind that they may perceive a children's squeal like that of a prey. So when kids are running around and screaming their hearts out, it is recommended to keep your Corso confined. It is best to watch any interaction between children and Corso to avoid ear pulling, chasing, and other trouble that may put your children or your dog in danger. 3. Cane Corso should not be allowed to run loose. If you have a backyard, make sure that it is securely fenced. A Cane Corso, especially if not properly trained, may cause damage to your neighbors. In addition, an electric fence won't prevent your Cane Corso from leaving your backyard. This breed needs a solid, toughly built fence. This large dog can pose a threat to small animals, such as cats and smaller dogs, so make sure they don't leave your house unsupervised. 4. Expenses can be daunting. Cane Corso is one large dog, and we all know that the larger the dog, the larger the bill it will need to maintain them. Some expenses you may need to prepare for are their spray-neuter surgery, medical surgery if needed, the cost of anesthesia that will be used, and the medications after the surgery. That doesn't end there, though. You will also need to pay for their training classes and the cost of pet sitting when there's an instance that you need to leave them for a short time. Also, you will have to build a solid fence for your backyard to make sure they won't run loose and cause trouble. It's important to be prepared for these expenses in order for you not to overwhelm once you have your own Cane Corso. It may be expensive, but it is surely rewarding. 5. Cane Corso is a decent, serious dog. One of the reasons why they get the intimidating look is because of them being serious and tough looking. Cane Corsos are not usually fun and giddy, except when it's time to cuddle or time to eat their favorite snack. Most of the time, expect Cane Corso to do the job they are tasked to do. After all, their athletic, muscular body isn't made for laying down all day. 6. Cane Corso are actually athletic for their size. Despite being a large dog with a stocky and athletic body, Cane Corso is actually fast for its size. Male Corso stands at 25 to 27.5 inches, while female stands between 23.5 to 26 inches at the withers. Meanwhile, their weight ranges from 90 to 120 pounds. If not given a job to do, Cane Corso can be trained for canine sports, such as dock diving, agility, obedience, tracking, and nose work. 7. Cane Corso demands great deal of physical activity. 
we mentioned how athletic these dogs are. Because of this, Canacorso demands lots of physical exercises. Two brisk walks a day would be good, or if you have a bicycle, it would also be fun to have your Corso run with you. They will also enjoy hikes and long walks. However, puppies should not be given a huge amount of physical exercise. As you may know, their bones are not fully developed until they reach 18 months of age. For puppies, exercises should be shorter. 8. Mental stimulation is important for Canacorso. It's no wonder that mental stimulation is a requirement for this breed. After all, they are highly intelligent dogs. Every day, Canacorso shall be given at least 20 minutes that can be broken down into two sessions of mental exercise. This can be in the form of practicing tricks and commands, rounding up the livestock, or learning obedience skills. There are also some toys that stimulate a dog's mind, which you can purchase at your local pet store. Just remember to keep them mentally and physically stimulated, or else they'll develop undesirable behavior. Like all dogs, they will expel energies that haven't been burned down in any way they can. May it be chewing your furniture, digging in your yard, or barking without any reason. 9. Conocorso is a healthy dog In general, Conocorsos are fit and healthy dogs, though it doesn't make them susceptible to health issues. All Conocorsos should be aware of illnesses their Conocorso might be prone to, such as hip dysplasia, gastric torsion, and demodectic mange. Like all large and deep-chested dogs, Conocorso may also suffer from bloat, a life-threatening condition if not addressed early. They are also prone to eyelid abnormalities, such as cherry eye, entropion, and ectropion. If you're planning to buy one, make sure to look for a responsible breeder that will provide you with health clearances to prove that the puppy and his parents are free from these illnesses. 10. Vacuums should come in handy when you have Conocorso in your home. Despite their short coat with a light undercoat, Conocorso does shed twice per year. That said, have a vacuum with you because during the shedding season, all loose hair might stick everywhere in your house. While we're on it, let's talk more about grooming these large dogs. If you have plenty of time for your Conocorso and would want to bathe them regularly, make sure that you start training them when they're still pups. They'll grow big and it'll be challenging for you to bathe them peacefully by then. Their teeth should also be brushed at least two to three times per week. If you can do it every day, that's better. This will prevent bad breath, gum diseases, and buildup of bacteria and tartar. And that ends our video for today. While it'll take some effort in owning Conocorsos, it'll surely provide you with warmth on cold nights, protection and comfort on lonely days, and unconditional love every day.